Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is my grandmother. She went through the entire cycle from beginning to end of being a strong, independent woman all the way through the end of a nursing home cycle. It kind of started once my grandfather passed away. She began to get to a point where she wasn't motivated and couldn't take care of herself as well. She ended up moving in with us and in my family home. So it was my grandmother, my mom, and then the two of us that were kids, my older sister and myself. So we were her caregivers as she progressed. Um, she ended up having multiple strokes that led to dementia and Alzheimer's. So we had to kind of witness that decline and that was difficult. I was, I was quite young, probably around 10. So I, this was really my first experience. Um, as we begin to see where she was forgetting things, it was unsafe for her to be in the home if somebody wasn't there, she ended up moving into assisted living. I had never seen that either. So that was really enlightening to see the, the battles between trying to convince her to go and how helpful it would be and the decisions my mother had to make and becoming the power of attorney and everything. It was, it was quite a journey and, and enlightening to see what end of life can look like and how hard that can be. Uh, when she was eventually in nursing home placement, uh, it, was, it was difficult on us as a family to see what dementia can do to somebody and recognizing family members and that's something that has stuck with me and is definitely one of the big motivations as to why I want to work with seniors, to try to help people navigate that, that crazy situation and how hard it can be. So it's a huge influence on what we do and you know, and the, particularly the way I look at things, uh, specifically in regards to empathy. You know, people come in and tell such similar stories of, you know, mom has dementia now and we don't know what's going to happen. And of course I have to reflect back on, I know what happened with my family, I saw the way this goes. Uh, I recognize what some of your fears are, both financial and, uh, of course, the emotional family side of it. Mom doesn't recognize us. You know, that's really, really hard. So I think that gives us a, a quick way to bond. And with what I do here in regards to talking about insurance and all of this high end, you know, stuff that's complicated, that bond is crucial. So if I can bond with somebody and say, you know, I know what you're talking about there and I'm sorry she can't recognize you, you know, that's, that's really hard. I've been through that too. And that gives us a point to where we're now talking on the same level. And before I get into insurance and all the complicated stuff, we're on the same page. It's really important to, to start talking on the same page if you want to get to the same end.